So you have an overbite, more properly known as an overjet, and your orthodontist is recommending you use a forces to correct it. But you're wondering, what the heck is a forces and why do I need it to correct this overbite? Don't worry, in today's episode, we're gonna talk about what a forces is, when it's indicated, and why it's used in orthodontics to correct this overjet. So let's go. What's up guys, Dr. Greg here back with another episode of Race Explained. I hope you guys are all doing awesome. If you guys haven't noticed, I've actually been pretty good about hitting that goal about uploading a video once a week. And I'm pretty proud of myself for doing that. And if you guys are proud of me too, go ahead and give me a thumbs up on this video and make sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't yet. I know, shameless plug. So like I said, in today's video, we're gonna talk about what an overbite is and how a forces is used to correct it. But before we get into that, what I wanna do is actually correct the terminology because a lot of people call this is an overbite, but it's not an overbite. An overbite is how much your upper and lower teeth overlap in the vertical, and overjet is how much the upper and lower teeth overlap in the horizontal. What you wanna have is a little bit of overlap in the vertical and horizontal dimensions, right? So you wanna have a little bit of an overbite and a little bit of an overjet. And what a little bit is really depends on your case, your tooth anatomy, your bite, so your orthodontist will determine what's best for you. So if your upper teeth stick out forward compared to your lower teeth, that's not a big overbite, that's a big overjet. I talk about this more in another video, which I'll link out in this corner, because I don't want to go into that too much. But what I do want to talk about in today's video are some of the treatments for this overjet. A big overjet can be caused by a few different things. It could be caused by your upper jaw or upper teeth being too far forward compared to the lower, or your lower jaw and lower teeth being too far back compared to the upper. The way we treat these are very different. I've had a video where I've talked about a Herbst appliance is one way to treat this, but what I wanna do is kind of talk about a gradient of the different ways you can treat this. And it really depends on so many factors in your case. So if your overjet is pretty minor, an orthodontist can simply use elastics to correct this. And we've talked about elastics in a previous video. So if you wanna learn more about that, I'll link it out in this corner as well as in the description of today's video. But if the overjet is minor enough, we can use class two elastics to correct this overjet, right? If it's a little bit more severe than can be corrected with elastics, or if you're not being cooperative with your elastics, yeah, I'm talking to you. If you're not wearing your rubber bands and you're supposed to be wearing your rubber bands right now, pause this video and put your rubber bands in so your orthodontist doesn't yell at you at your next visit. But like I said, if you're not being cooperative with your elastics, or if your overjet is a little bit too much, what your orthodontist might use is a forces appliance, which is what we're gonna talk about in today's video. So I'm gonna kind of gloss over the other things because the point of today's video is to talk about the forces appliance, but really quickly, I wanna to touch on the moderate and severe types of overjet corrections that are gonna require something more than just elastics and a forces. If your upper jaw is too far forward compared to your lower jaw, and the problem is the upper teeth, in those cases, we might do something like camouflage orthodontics, where you would extract two teeth on the top and bring the upper teeth back as a unit. And I've talked about that in a previous video. But let's say your lower jaw is too far back compared to the upper, which is more often the case. Well, if you're a growing patient, we can use some sort of a functional appliance, which will actually encourage that lower jaw to grow forward. This is something like a Herbst or a Mara, and I've talked about that also in a previous video. But let's say you're a non-growing patient and your lower jaw is too far back. Well, in that case, you might need something like orthognathic or jaw surgery to surgically bring that lower jaw forward. Again, I'm gonna talk about this in more detail in another video, but I just kind of want to bring it up so that you guys are familiar that there are other ways and there's so many different ways to correct an overjet as well as literally everything else in orthodontics. I just wanted to introduce the idea. So let's get into the forces appliance, okay? Briefly put, what a forces is is that it's a loaded spring, right? So what it does is it attaches to the back teeth on the top and the front teeth on the bottom and it's a loaded spring. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna deliver a force to the lower teeth to go forward and your upper teeth to go back. And essentially that's how it's gonna correct your overjet. The way it's attached to your mouth is that we actually have to use bands on your back teeth to affix this to your mouth. And these bands have a little hole that's usually used for either a forces or a headgear. And it's like a tube. And some of you might notice this in your mouth right now. Just because you have it doesn't mean you're gonna need a forces or a headgear. It's just there in case your orthodontist needs it for other things. So don't worry if you have it, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're gonna need one of these things. It's just there on most bands. But the way it works is that this forces clips in to those tubes in the back and then ties into the wire on the bottom. And like I said, every time you close your mouth, it's a loaded spring. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna push the lower teeth forward and push the upper teeth back. This is different than rubber bands because if you have rubber bands and an overjet that your orthodontist is trying to fix, a lot of you might know that you're connecting it from your upper front teeth to your lower back teeth. And the way this works differently is that rubber bands pull, so they pull your upper teeth back and pull your lower teeth forward. Whereas with the forces, it 
pushes your upper teeth back and pushes your lower teeth forward in order to correct that overjet. And this can be done on either one side or both sides. And after they're taken off, your orthodontist might still need to do a little bit more detailing to really finalize your bite. But that's pretty much what the forces does. Your orthodontist will leave that in there for several months until that overjet is corrected. The main thing that's tough about the forces appliance is that it has a lot of metal on it and it can irritate your cheeks. So if the forces is irritating your cheeks, I'd encourage you to let your orthodontist know. But it will just take a little bit of time until your cheeks get used to it. In the meantime, you guys can use something like Ambosol or another type of gel anesthetic to numb the cheek until that area gets a little bit more calloused and used to the forces appliance. It takes a little bit of time and a little bit of getting used to it to eat and chew with this thing, but most people do absolutely stellar with it and it's not a problem at all. So just know it's gonna be a little bit uncomfortable for a couple of days, but you will get used to it and you will get the results without having to remember to change your rubber bands. Let me know in the comments if you guys have any questions or wanna learn more about different ways to correct an overjet. And if you guys just learned from today's video that an overbite is not called an overbite, but actually called an overjet, give yourself a thumbs up and be sure to give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button so you can stay up to date with more content like this. And remember to stay healthy, happy, and to always keep smiling. That's all I have for you guys today. For now, Dr. Greg, out.